Hey everyone, what's up? It's Query to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Last time we finished up the sixth badge, and this time we're getting a phone call from Trent. I feel like I literally just got a phone call from you. Um, in between episodes, I decided to teach uh, Birdman fly, and what I took away from that is I got rid of Double Team because honestly, I'd never use it. I'm I'm bigger fan of you know doing just attacks in general. I kept Endeavor. Endeavor can be a very useful attack. If you know how to use it correctly. Anyways, you're probably asking, dude, why do you keep coming back to Doofert? I don't understand what your problem is. Like, do you have a boner for the city? No, it's because I realized a few parts ago, we got the, uh, the good rod. The good old, good old rod, you know? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna fish up a Pokemon. And I think you'll see why very soon. So let's try to get this on the first try. Yo, that would be so prime if we did this one shot. One shot, one kill. Ooh, a bite. It got away. Son of a gun, really? Dude, you gotta you gotta be better than that. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, buddy. Come on. Alright, well I'll cut back to when I actually get the Pokemon I want. Oh my god, that took me way too long to find. Yes. I'm catching Whalmer now. This is gonna be so nice to have, because I won't have to train it that much. Alright, let's go confusion. I'm not gonna try to, you know, do too much damage to it. Hopefully you don't kill- ARE YOU- Are you freaking kidding me, Sai? Are you serious? Well, screw you! Oh, thank god, another one. I'm so glad that that was right after the first one. Okay. This time I sent out Birdman because I can't not- I can't use Sai again. Can't trust you, Sai. Uh, Whirlpool, and this is a risky call. I'm doing it! Come on, Birdman, don't disappoint! Oh, you didn't disappoint. I don't know what Whirlpool does, and that kind of frightens me. Okay. I should have picked up some Pokeballs. It's okay, I've got two Great Balls and two Ultra Balls. And if I have to, I'll probably just stall. That was not good. Um, crap. Well, shoot me in the butt, and call me Sally. Um, that's bait. Come on. Come on. Yes, we did it. This one's a little weaker than the last one that we found, but, uh, nonetheless, we found Whalmer. And guess what? We're giving it a nickname, because guess what it is? It's going to be our newest member of the team. Let's see. What am I going to name him? I will get back to you on that in a second. <laughs> this coming to you from the mind who thought of Trillina and such other classic hits like Steely Dan. I don't know. I decided to go with Cool Guy Joe because it fit and it sounded, it was the first thing that popped in my head. So let's go ahead and get Cool Guy, Cool Guy, Cool Guy Joe, Cool Guy Go um, into our PC and I will meet you back in Fortree Town or City, whatever. All right, now that we got that taken care of, I went into the PC, the Pokemon Center real quick. Just look at his health already. He's already got so much. He's level 26. Prevents burns. He's got some good moves coming around. He's got water gun. What does Whirlpool do? Traps the foe. Interesting. And astonish and roll out. So yeah, he's got some cool moves. We're gonna switch him out to the front. I know it's probably not the smartest idea, but I mean, I gotta train him somehow, so that's what we'll be doing today is mostly getting ourselves all the way down to um, Lily Cove City, which is the next city on the map. In fact, let me show you the map in a different way because I can now because Birdman knows fly. So this is, all the red stuff is stuff that we've already explored. Um, why don't they, I guess they do if you hover over them. Um, blue dots are towns, red dots are cities. You can tell here and here as well. Cause then you got this and you got Verdon Turf and then you got Lava Ridge and then you got that. And then we got this place that we haven't discovered yet, but it's a city. But we are going to be heading to Lily Cove City now with Cool Guy Joe in hand. I'm excited. Let's get ourselves over there. Oh, thank God the interviewers are gone. The interviewers are actually on a cycle, so they will be back in the first spot that you met them, and they'll also be able to do, like, certain other things. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Hello, sir. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? No, but I have some that can strike at your heartstrings. <laughs> God, I need to turn it, <laughs> tone it down. My God. Okay, well, Wingle is fighting Cool Guy Joe for the first time. Look at Cool J- Look at Cool Guy Joe! Look at those eyes at the back of his head! So cool! He's so cool! I like him a lot! Alright, wing attack shouldn't do much. 
See, the beauty with Cool Guy Joe is he has like a good amount of defense. And he's also a boss, so that's cool. I really hope he strikes on the second one. And I realize that I'm probably going to be training him mostly on screen um, through these trainer battles. Uh, I might devote a little bit of time off screen if he's not where I want him to be by the time we get to Lily Cove. Um, I might devote a little bit of time just to catch him up. Just get him closer to his friend. His friend. So that's cool. Um, so now we got Natu, who's going to use Psychic Attacks. Well, considering Psychic Attack killed my last attempt at Cool Guy Joe, let's hope it doesn't happen again. I forgot I was still using Rollout. This should one shot at them. Got him. Good job, Cool Guy Joe. I'm really happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. <laughs> snip, snap, snip, snap. Okay, we're done with that. Um, so let's move on to the next place, which is over here. And there are people. There's a lot of double battles here. I forgot about these. Um, let's see. Would it be smart to have two water Pokemon out? Now let's let's get Birdman out there. Let's get Birdman a shot at redemption. Not really for Birdman. I. It would be Psy who needs the redemption. Also, why am I not using Psy? Whatever, I don't care. Okay, so these guys are a bunch of party poopers with Ninkata and Meditite. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Cool Guy Joe and Birdman. Birdman should be able to take out Ning... Very quickly. Yes, sir, Bob. I tell you what. Okay. Um, I should probably teach... Yeah, I'm probably going to do that after this battle. I'm probably going to teach Cool Guy Joe how to surf. Because even though Azumarill already knows it, surf is still a fantastic move, and it's probably one of the best water moves in the game. So, like, it makes sense for even Cool Guy Joe to hold on to. So I'm probably just going to do that anyways. All right, Ninkata. Let's see if you can handle Cool Guy Joe. He's worse than you, and he destroyed you. It's because Ninkata's like a rock bug. It's really weird. I still don't quite understand that combination, but you know, whatever. To each their own, to each the pwn, to each the own, to hing the nong. A sing the song, a hing along. Yeah. Also, water moves are more effective in this scenario because of rain. And rain, rain, go away. It's a happy time. Okay, Makuhita's down. Cool Guy Joe has just got to take out this coffin, which I have 100% faith that he can do. Let's hope he doesn't break my faith. You broke my faith. Bruh. Oh, crap. Well, Cool Guy Joe attacks before coughing, so I'm not that stressed about it. Um, the real reason I want Whalmer is to get Whalord. And no, I'm not trying to do the Reggie's quest. I just want to do freaking Whalord because Whalmer's a cool Pokemon. And I like Whalmer. Um, not that I don't like a Zuril or a Zumarill. I'm going to keep getting those mixed up the entire game. Um, not that I don't like a Zumarill. It's just I think that Whalord's a better, stronger... Harder, better, faster, stronger Pokemon. So he's Daft Punk. Oh, I should have named him Daft Punk. Damn it. I blew it. Yeah, sorry, guys. I blew it. Um, Let's stick with this. You want to battle me? Huh? Okay. We're moving on. I don't care about your beauty. That's too bad. I think I know what this girl has, too. She probably has another Pokemon that I would love to pick up. Or not. <laughs> Also, this is a really bad combo for me. Because Manectrike is fast as balls. And Cool Guy Joe is Cool Guy Joe. So there's a problem there. Cast form I'm not too worried about. There is a trainer coming up that I am kind of stressed out about. Um, I guess I might as well do this. And see how far I can get. That does very little damage. And I paralyzed myself. Gosh darn it. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Now he... Yeah, Manectrike. Oh my god. I thought that hit both of them. Well, Cool Guy Joe is dead. So we're off to a fantastic start to his career. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, yeah. Let's change this up. What was it? Cast form and that? Hmm. Steely Dan would be fine in this scenario. Probably not the best choice, but, you know, whatever. How does cast form no freaking thunder? What game is this? I don't remember this being a thing. Holy crap. What in the world is happening? What in the blow blazes is happening over here? Alright, we're gonna use quick attack. Beat the snot out of this freaking Manectrike. I should not have used that attack. And Birdman's done. Well, I know where we're going after this battle. 
Um, it rhymes with Pokemon Penter. Wait, yeah. Uh, let's get outside. Oh boy, this is really bad. I really... Okay. Let's just... Yeah, let's just bully my Pokemon. You guys are mean. I don't like you anymore. You're not fun at my birthday party. Jesus, Steely Dan, please finish this. You can hear me foaming at the mouth on that one. Um, Rats. This is really disappointing. I'm going to do this because I think that... Um, oh, screw off, dude. What is with you and Thunder? I know that there's a storm outside, but you don't... Oh, oh my god. What in the world is happening? I just want to go home. <laughs> Dude, seriously though, like how are these trainers destroying me? But I managed to pretty much crush freaking what's her face. This is perplexing to say the least. Okay, cast form. What you got for me, cast form? What you got for me, cast bitch? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know cast form actually knew a water move. Cast form knows so many strange moves. I don't understand. Okay. Um, it's water. Let's go double kick. Yeah. And Thunderbolt. Come on. Do some damage. Oh, good. Oh, this thing's screwed. It's over. Yo, it's already over. Hot chick. Hot chick coming with the save, man. Is she coming with the save, dog? She coming with the save. Speaking of saves, um, I need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Mom, you need to be. All right, well, I'll meet you back in this spot. Okay, and we're back. Wow, there are going to be so many cuts in this part. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, Oh, that was close. Hello, ma'am. How are you? you? Of course you want to battle me. I wish I had known that there was a place to cut, but I think that just leads you to berries, I want to say. Oh, you're the, oh, are you the cool trainer I'm thinking of? No, you have Sableye. Very strange. Um, so, yeah, while I was cutting that out, by the way, I did take the liberty to get rid of Whirlpool. And teach cool guy Joe surf, because surf is a million friggin' times better. You suck, Sableye. Just accept your fate. Just, dude, just accept your fate. Cool guy Joe is gonna beat the snot out of you, and it's gonna be over, you know, dude? It's just not gonna go well for you. You can't use detect and protect two times in a row. Can you teach a Pokemon detect and protect? Because I feel like that combination would be unbeatable for 10 turns. Then again, you're not doing anything for 10 turns, so it's kind of like, why are you even bothering? Unless you have, like... I can't even think of a situation why of why that would be helpful, unless you're stalling, but... Okay, I hate that this can work twice in a row now. Like, I've never seen it do that before until, like, this playthrough. Also, what in the world is happening? Okay, um, so let's beat this guy. You've got faint attack, and you're also causing my frames to drop. Sableye, get off my screen! <laughs> I don't know what's been going on. The frames have kind of just been dropping lately. Been dropping the ball, you know. Been balling the drop. Um, so Cool Guy Joe is level 27 now. And he's killing it. Hennifer is down. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, I pro it's pro honestly, my bet is that it's the friggin' thingamajigger. But I do not know the answer to that question. I think it's just my computer. Which is definitely possible. Oh well. Um, hello. Let's fight. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna give me a tough time in physical situations. However, shall I live? Dude, seriously, why are you freaking out, computer? My goodness. Um, so we got low tad to fight. And low tad's a tad low on the spectrum, so we're gonna have to take it easy on him. Not really, though, because he knows grass moves. Why do you know grass moves, dude? What's wrong with you? Why don't you make my life easier? Okay, I don't know why it's having trouble. Um, so Surf is a move that's not going to get affected by Growl because it's Surf. Have fun with the water. It's probably not going to do much damage. I actually did No, nope, it didn't at all. JK, JK, JK. JK Rowling. Oh my god, the frames are back. When the frame come back, yo. <laughs> Astonish. I don't know what was going on there. He's kind of freaking out. Also, Astonish doesn't affect him. Or it does. Oh, because he used that weird-ass move. That's why. Whatever, man. I don't even know what he's doing anymore. Lotad, get out of here. You're a piece of crap, Ranger Jenna. I really hate you. Because <laughs> I'm not getting a good Astonish again, and Cool Guy Joe does not attack first, ever. 
Because Cool Guy Joe is not a fast camper. Um, hmm. I probably should have thought of this a little better, shouldn't I have? Probably should have just gone and done this off screen, but oh well. I'll, I'll train him again off screen. Don't worry about it, guys. I might not use him after this battle or something and just take the time to train him off screen. Um, mostly because I just... He's just not going to be useful for a while. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll do, I'd will do. i probably do that in between recording sessions. So it will be a bloody good time for all the involved. You're going to use Swaft. I don't understand why it's using Swift because it's raining outside. That's very strange. It's very sunny here. I'm very happy. Very, very happy camper. If you use another full restore though, I am switching Pokemon because this is ridiculous. Okay, good. Probably switching Pokemon anyways, to be honest, because I'm getting fed up with Cool Guy Joe. Unless you have Lombre. So I'm switching Pokemon, in other words. Okay, let's go, Birdman. Get out there and finish what Cool Guy Joe could not even come close to starting. Couldn't even come close to starting. Not even close to starting. Gotta do the voices, man. Alright, uh, Wing Attack should beat the Snot out of you. And Snot out of you should beat the Wing Attack out of you. And it's over, yay. Do you have the last one? I wonder. And I wonder if you know what it means. You have Nuzleaf. Never mind. I don't care about no Nuzleaf. Man, Nuzleaf ain't doo-doo, dog. All right, well, Mist wore off, and uh, Nuzleaf is screwed, effectively, now. Wing attack. Bye, Nuzleaf. You and your strange nipples. Like, seriously, those little black dots, though. <laughs> That's pretty bad. All right, well, you're totally fit, and I don't give a darn for you, so go away. Okay. So, we are going to continue on with this area. Oh, there's an invisible Pokemon. I'm not going to deal with that. Anyways, we're going to get ourselves past this invisible Pokemon next time. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next part of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Bye-bye.